So dear colleagues, dear digital friends, dear Reuters team, I'm very happy to talk today about our Biontex approach to digitalization under very specific circumstances. So driven by the pandemic, uh, we uh, have been faced uh, with the wonderful situation to build a global organization and a country organization at the same time. In this case, I will talk about Germany, our home market, which, as you all know, is the first, the fourth largest pharmaceutical market in the world, which will also serve as a blueprint for our further globalization activities. We have been able to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, not only develop, but also bring, to, bring it to the market with in the less than 11 months, together with our partner, as you all know, which is really critical because these specific circumstances have always have also been very critical for our commercialization activities and drove also the speed of the commercialization activities. What did it mean for the German market, our home market? We established our affiliate a little bit more than a year ago in August 2020. Immediately, we took the decision to build a fully integrated organization. We then approached the market in different scenarios, first with a centralized approach in December last year, and then with a decentralized approach in the beginning of this year, which is and was very critical because that was the driving force to also start with a sales force on the German market in May this year. Let me now illustrate how we approached commercial and how we approached in that context also dig digital in a short video. So what you could see in the video and what is critical uh, for Biontech, that science and data is everything what we is, is what we base everything on. That means as a and as a former R&D company, scientific data have always been key. Now as a company also commercializing, commercial data have become key. And in that context, we have built and are building our digitalization. Uh, approach. So what you can, what you could see in, in the video, people, technology and processes are the three critical elements, which then, of course, drive scalability, automation and, of course, innovation. And critical for everything what we do is the stakeholder or are the stakeholders. And this, under these specific circumstances, the pandemic, which we have been dealing with over the last soon one and a half years, um, is uh, that we never had so many different uh, stakeholders to, uh, to deal with uh, as a pharmaceutical company. So making the impossible possible, a pretty bold statement. I hope that uh, I can share with you a couple of elements, uh, which I will be showing you quite quickly, uh, that uh, we have also been able to make impossible things possible when it comes to digitalization. What you can see here, I'm sure most of you, actually all of you, are very well familiar with. And that's the blueprint or the ideal infrastructure of a digital landscape, <clears throat> which you can see here. So three things are very critical for us, or have been very critical for us to approach uh, digitalization in the overall context. Number one, uh, we had no legacy systems in place when we started with our digitalization activities, even with the planning. We had actually no digital system in place at all. We had therefore not to deal with uh, any change management, uh, which was critical in the overall approach 
to when it comes to the implementation. Number two, uh, we took a best of breed approach. Every system which you can see here, uh, every vendor uh, which we dealt with and, and worked with, uh, or still working with, uh, has been hand-picked, hand-selected, and uh, is from our perspective the best vendor which we could work with. And then number three, very critical, uh, we did all at once. So all the systems which you can see here, all the enterprise solutions which you can see here, uh, have been implemented at the same time. And there's maybe one further element I'd like to highlight here. We have been working with one global lead agency as well uh, to drive all of this. So now let me illustrate uh, this approach to you a little bit more in detail. And as mentioned before, we drove all of these solutions in parallel. We have implemented eight enterprise solutions uh, within the last a little bit more than uh, eight months. Let me start with the master data management systems. The master data management system we've implemented in three months, uh, industry benchmark is eight to 18 months. The customer relation management, uh, which normally takes you nine to 15 months, we have been able to implement in one and a half months. To be explicit, in six weeks. And to be even more explicit, and I think that's important to highlight that, and just to give you one example, a very specific example, um, we started the RFP, the request for, for proposal um, process, on the 22nd of March this year. One week later, exactly one week later, uh, we onboarded the vendor, which we felt was the best one for us. We then uh, had April and the first two weeks of May to implement the system. Why was this so critical and in such a hard timeline? Because we onboarded our sales force on the 3rd of May. They all started and were in, were in the training on the 3rd of May this year onwards. On the 17th of May, we had the training with the final system, the final CRM system in place uh, and trained the, 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 the feed force with the new system. Uh, so hard timelines and so clear six weeks when it comes to the implementation. Business intelligence tool, uh, tool within three months, the, the, uh, the content management system, I don't multi-channel uh, management system in two months, the content management system in three months, the digital asset management in three months, the learning experience management one and a half months, and then last but not least, the, contact, the customer contact center uh, system in three months. So very short timelines to uh, make it crisp. So let me now show you and illustrate what I've just uh, mentioned here with a couple of uh, examples so that you can feel it a little bit more and to make it a little bit more tangible. So what I'd like to show you here are our real-time dashboards. And as I said in the beginning, um, um, we are a data-driven company. So data are key, and in that sense, of course, also dashboards are key, but even better, having a real-time dashboard where a sales rep enters anything into the system and you can see it at the same time. And also your manager can see it at the same time, of course, is probably one of the nicest solutions you can work with. And uh, that means, of course, for everyone who has access to this data, he can see this data real time as a 360 degree, degree customer view. Another nice concept and actually brand new is our incentive and motivational dashboard. So everything what you saw before, of course, plays into uh, this incentive and motivational dashboard as well. And it also, of course, works self-explaining real time. Something I'm very proud of um, the one beyond tech mobile application. It's like having your company on, on, on the phone. It's the same time for, sales, for our sales force, but also for all our other stakeholders, internal stakeholders, who have access uh, and who deal with customers or stakeholders. Of course, you can schedule your calls, uh, you can schedule your appointments, uh, you can schedule your calls. Uh, of course, you can uh, document your calls right away after the call, wherever you run around with your iPhone. Um, but you can also, and that's a, a nice additional um, uh, tool, you can use voice assist to document your calls with your voice immediately. And even nicer, you can do so while driving your car. And that brings me to the next element and something which uh, we're also proud of as a company. Um, as a pharmaceutical company, we were the first ones to start with uh, uh, an electric, field, uh, an, an electric uh, fleet in the market. Something you can imagine is not that easy to implement, but we used all of our digitalization efforts 
um, and tools to make this happen and enable our field force to do that in the most and best and the most efficient and best possible way. And to use even times when charging and things where you normally say that's that's difficult and tricky, even for these times uh, we've found solutions. What you can see here, the digital learning platform is one of these which we're using and which we're providing, uh, which we are providing to the to the field force uh, tools which they can use to use these times wisely. Uh, they can also use uh, event concepts or event approaches and, and have specific video conferences, whatever, while uh, being in the car and using that wisely. So all in all, to uh, bring it together, um, we have come up and have built a plug and play infrastructure, which um, has uh, driven our commercialization so far in our first markets and will hopefully or will drive our commercialization in all our further markets to come, in all our further therapeutic areas to come and which we are working on and hopefully also will be able to bring products to the market. So high quality has always been our one of the key drivers here and the better the data, um, the better the quality of the data, the better the outcome. Of course, lowering costs and being efficient and being effective has been key and will be key and is one of the core elements of digitalization. Um, the digitalization and all of the, the, the whole landscape which uh, you have just seen will be critical and will help us to build and further uh, develop uh, go-to-market models and with uh, new uh, therapeutic areas to deal with and new product products to come. This is uh, has a high potential. Speed to market, launch efficiency, launch excellence, of course, are highly critical and, uh, and will remain to be critical. And also here, digitalization is one of the nicest approaches you can take. And then at the very end, employee and customer experience. I mean, that's, that's the center and that has been key and is one of the most critical driver of all the, if not the, most, most important driver of all the things I have been alluding to uh, just before. So last but not least, um, something I, I have to say and, and, and then have to emphasize, a big thank you to all the companies which you can see here. And uh, uh, we had a wonderful collaboration and uh, we look forward to further wonderful collaborations, but without uh, a great collaboration uh, and, and integrated collaboration with all of these companies, uh, this would not have been possible. Um, nice comment on the side. Um, I have to make this comment because that's critical also on our side when it comes to the implementation and the, the, the speed of implementation. Uh, on our side, uh, we had a handful, uh, not even a handful of people who helped us and who, who drove all of these digitalization activities and made, let's call it the impossible, uh, possible on our side and made it happen. So um, I'm also very grateful, of course, to, to this team. So reimagining your digital future, uh, that's what it's all about for us. Uh, people, processes, technology, and uh, I thank all of you for, for listening. Thanks uh, um, uh, for your time, and I look forward to receiving uh, your questions.